Europa leaders have said the Southwest is not ready to go to war with any group or region, but they will do everything within their power to protect the region. They spoke, they spoke at a press conference in Lagos organized by the Are Onokakanfo of Yoruba land, Ibagani Adams, spokesperson for Afeniferi Yinka Odumaki and Sola Lawal. At the event attended by Chief Ayo Adebanjo, Paruben Fasurati, the leaders said a stakeholders meeting scheduled for March 17 will proffer the next line of action for Yoruba in terms of security and economy. They disclosed that the zone will meet in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital, for a non-partisan Southwest stakeholders group meeting on the said date. According to Adams, they are different, there are different layers by which insecurity can be addressed. This, according to him, necessitated the need for state and non-state actors to work together. According to him, there is a relationship between good security and buoyant economy. He said, we are here to represent our leaders and proclaim this campaign. Yes, we have asked people to return to farm, and the next question is, how safe are the farms? From the onslaughts of headsmen. We are trying to create different layers to address the insecurity. The government layer and the non-governmental layer. The government has started mapping out its strategies by creating an Amotekun corps. But we feel that if the strength of the Amotekun cannot complement the effort of the regular security agencies, we should also support them too. This meeting is to address the germane issues besetting the Yoruba nation at the moment. We are bringing together all the relevant security groups to back the government and its agencies up through the Southwest Security Stakeholders Group. This will bring the Vigilantes, Hunters, Odudua People, Odua People Congress, Agwikoya and other groups together. We will showcase all the leaders of these groups when we have the Pan Yoruba Conference on the 17th of March at Mapo Hall, Ibadan. On his part, Odumaki said the Southwest will not be subservient to any other group of people. Adding that the stakeholders' meeting will provide a practical roadmap for the region. They thought we are going to be begging them, but nobody is going to do that. Food security has always been with us. They are the ones threatening our land that made food security a challenge for us. We are not out to fight anybody, but let nobody think they can intimidate us in our land or that they can make us submit to fear, he said. Also speaking, Lawal said it was only under this kind of umbrella stakeholders group that we can that we can that the challenge of insecurity affecting the region can be effectively streamlined and addressed. Adding that interested individuals and groups cannot be left to do things on their own without coordination. The Yoruba nation is not ready to go to war with anyone or any group. But the Yoruba nation is ever ready to defend itself and its property. What we have on the ground is a development that came about as a necessity compelled by the moment, he said. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? The Yoruba group, the Ferry Ferry, has now blown hot they are now spitting fire that they will protect their people, they will protect their region. It doesn't matter what it takes. Well, it is what it is. This is what the IPOP group are also doing in the southeast, but are facing stiff opposition from their 
people as well from the governor southeast governors or southeast leaders and politicians as it were it is sad and unfortunate that they have failed to see the importance and the essentiality of uh Nandekano's uh vision and uh you know desire to see that the southeastern land prospers but it is what it is the yoruba counterpart has risen up and they have awakened themselves and they are ready to take the bull by the horn to address issues the way they ought to be addressed it is what it is if care is not taken if things are not done the way they ought to be done if these issues are not addressed it is um, worthy of note that there will be serious security challenges. If these issues are not addressed, there will be serious challenges. There will be uh, chaos because the people of the Southeast, the people of the Southwest will be left with no, uh, they will be left on their own with no support from the federal government. But you can see that when there are challenges or issues in the north, the government is quick to send help. But when it, has, it happens in the south, the government drags its foot. It shows that the government is not ready to help. The government is also not ready to look the ways of other people. It is what it is. The agenda is clear to all. The agenda is clear to all. It doesn't matter how the people in the South cry, lament, raise their voices. The government would want to force their agenda and shove it down the throats of the people of the South. But it remains to be seen if the people of the South will accept. So the Yorubas are waking up just like Namdekanu had already long, you know, taken the decision to protect the people of the South East. So it is what it is. And Kano may not be able to do it alone. He probably would need support, but at the moment he does not seem like getting the support and does not look as if he will be getting the support uh, that he needs anytime soon. But however, the Yoruba group are already beginning to swing into action. And hopefully they can uh, match the situation and deal with it decisively so it does not rear its ugly heads then what are your thoughts guys concerning this particular news story as it were well drop by at the comment section let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories and able to share these new stories with your friends family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.